What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new Pokemon trading card game video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the newly released Blastoise V deck. So this deck also released alongside a Venusaur V deck as well. So if you guys want to see that video, make sure you guys subscribe with notifications on. With that said, we're doing like daily booster pack giveaways in every video this month. So if you want to enter those giveaways during this month, feel free to. You just have to answer the common question of the day, like the videos, and uh, yeah, we've been giving away packs all month long. I'm going to show you guys the packaging, everything that's included with it. And uh, they also released this deck in a two pack with the Venusaur. And to my understanding, in that special two pack, they do include copies of Boss's orders, which potentially have a alternate art with Lysander instead of Giovanni. You're able to buy the two pack deck bundle together for I think a slightly uh, lower cost or about the same price. But when they include Boss's orders, it definitely does sweeten the deal. So if you're new to the Pokemon TCG, I think these decks are going to be a solid way to get into the competitive side for you collectors out there who just collect. This might be one of the first decks you might want to buy. This is with well, the very first time. Time, they're releasing V decks. V are like the main cards for the current format. Then they have V maxes. Before they used to have theme decks. Theme decks that revolved around like particular Pokemon that evolved into them or a legendary Pokemon, for example. But this time around, they're giving you like a really strong V card or at least a somewhat decent strong card right out of the box. So if you like these Pokemon, a Blastoise or a Venusaur, and you want to build more onto this deck, they're actually releasing Blastoise VMAX and Venusaur VMAX uh, boxes in a couple of weeks. And I'll have those unboxed on the channel as well. So a really straightforward way to upgrade these decks would be to buy those Blastoise VMAX or Venusaur VMAX bundles, and I believe those have battle style booster packs inside of them. Let's take a look at the Blastoise V deck. Blastoise is my favorite starter personally of all time, next to Charizard and then Typhlosion. But yeah, let's open it up and see what we have inside. Now, currently these decks are retailing for 15 Canadian dollars. I believe that the uh, the Blastoise deck is a bit more sought after than the Venusaur just because it's Blastoise and it might be competitively better, but we have yet to find out. Let's take a look at this box real quick. First thing you're gonna notice is it has this like play level right here which i guess is signifying the difficulty of this deck of how hard it is to use and or how good it is so this is a level one and we only have level ones right now because these are the very first two v decks to release this is also the end of the theme deck era so expect a lot more of the starter decks to release to be uh these kind of v decks going forward you have the art of blastoise we have a look at the side right here signifying it's a water type we have another look at the other side and then on the very back of the box it actually shows you a little close-up action right here shows you all the cards that are included in this set so if you uh, wanted a particular card or wanted to know what you're getting yourself into you can see the list of cards right here however we're going to open them up and show you guys exactly what they are if there's any special hollow foil or alternate art or promo kind of cards inside we have a blastoises number right here 009 shout out to my kanto region gamers right here my first geners and then it also includes uh it tells you what you have inside here here, one ready to play 60 card deck, three reference cards, one rule booklet, single player playmat, damage counters, large metallic coin. Ooh, metallic coin. Is that going to be an actual metallic coin or a cheap plastic one? A deck box too, which probably won't work once you put sleeves on these cards. And then a quick start guide to unlock the strategies within. And one code card to play this online. So if you play the online TCG, which I'm ranked number, I think seven in Canada for standard format, you will uh, be able to use this deck. So it's going to be a great way to practice this deck and also, you know, see how it holds up against the Competition. So let's open the seal. Man, I remember buying starter decks all the time when I was younger. He looks like a 3D cell shaded kind of style. And it's not like the Charizard V, I believe. But yeah, we have the deck well protected. Let's just open this up. Here's the metallic coin right in the back. It's a bit large. Oh, I just smacked down all my cards. It's larger actually than the typical coins they include with products. So typically this is like the size of the coin you get when you buy a lot of Pokemon products. This is the size you get out of the Blastoise V deck. And I think it looks really, really cool. We also have some damage counters included. Typically they would look cheap and cardboardy and glossy. However, this time around they have like a metallic finish. So that's something new I want to say. You got 10s, you got 50s, you got 100s. 
hundreds. Most people typically use dice because they're quite easy to use, but I guess these decks aren't doing crazy damage out of the gate, so these will do just fine. Next up, you have uh, what can you do during your turn? So this is a turn order card, so that's going to be really great for new players so they don't slip up and uh, make very common mistakes when it comes to the order of their turn. And then you also have a uh, little special condition thing that tells you about poison on this side right here. Let's open this up, actually. It tells you burn, poison, what are special conditions, etc. So this deck is really, really targeted towards newer players compared to the Arsis Diaga Palkia deck or yeah, the ADP deck that we bought. Uh, if you guys want to see that other deck, that's more of like a structure deck. Like it's really well built for competitive play right out of the gate. So I'll leave that linked down below. We also have a what looks like to be a guide. So let me just zoom out right here. Here is a look at this paper. It says Venusaur V Battle Deck. That's on the one side. This is the Blastoise one. So I guess they include this in both of them. So here it says, welcome to the Pokemon TCG Blastoise V Battle Deck. This deck is built around the powerful water type Pokemon Blastoise V and many other great cards from Sword and Shield series. With 220 HP and an attack that does 200 damage, Blastoise V should be enough to handle almost anything you might come up against. Feel free to pause if you guys want to read, but I'm not gonna bore you guys with the reading. We also have a quick start guide here as well with Venusaur and Blastoise. It's gonna show you all the rules, the order of turns again, just as that little quick, uh, those cards showed you earlier. A play mat right here. Here is just a look at that. Blastoise big front and center. So here's a look at Blastoise V, 220 HP, water gun for 30 damage, one energy cost water, and then torrential cannon for 200 damage, three energy cost, and you can't use it the next turn. So pretty decent guy. And then uh, here's a look at the back as well. Looks really well centered. That's great. So if you end up wanting to, uh, I know some people like to get starter deck cards graded, like the Charizard one from Vivid Voltage. There you go. This is a promo. Uh, so expect there to be a different Blastoise V released later on that has a different art. We of course have the code card uh, deck here, right here. I'm going to use this, so I don't know why I'm showing you guys that. Then here is a look at the deck uh, deck box they include. They have a way to, pr to protect your deck if you want to protect it without sleeves <laughs> that sounds so ironic but here's a look at the box kind of cool kind of collectible so i don't know who who's going to display this but you can definitely like display this some way or another we'll take the cards out and it should have every card except for the blastoise v that i just showed you these cards fit the box perfectly the second you put card sleeves on these to protect it you can't use this box anymore you have to end up using like uh like an actual actual uh, deck box we showed you guys earlier the blastoise v let's take a look we've got a water energy water energy water energy it looks like they actually organized the deck somewhat okay the adp deck earlier was not organized at all actually no it's not organized at all it's just randomized but with, with lots of water energies energy retrieval we got a switch sharpedo okay gym trainer Carvana, so Water Energy, Dreadnought. This is from Sword and Shield. So a lot of these cards are not like a deck exclusive. These are cards from recently released Sword and Shield expansions and booster packs. We got a hop there for, for drawing. We got BD, gonna be very important to get extra energies onto our Blastoise and other Pokemon. We got Dan. Dan is such a weird card, man. Draw two cards and you and your opponent play rock, paper, scissors until someone wins. That's so weird, man. That, that's actually really weird. Uh, Carvana, so we got some Team Aqua vibes with the Torpedo and our Sharp Sharpedo, yeah, Sharpedo and Carvana. We got Hop, we got Cramorant. This is from the upcoming, this is, a, I think this is Shining Legends. I'm pretty sure this is the Shining Legends uh, logo for the set. If not, it might be Battle Styles, but I swear, I think it might be Shining Legends. So we got Cramorant, we got Dan. This is from Vivid Voltage, Water Energy, Wishy Washy from Darkness Ablaze, Vol Volcanion, I was gonna say Volcarona, Volcanion. This is really, really solid card. Okay. Rare. It's a rare card too. It has that little star on the bottom. 50 damage and 120 for a second attack. So pretty solid basic Pokemon. We got Gym Trainer, Water Energy, a Barisk Bariskawada? Bariskawada. This is from Vivid Voltage, a rare card from Vivid Voltage. Evolves from Arakuda. We got a Great Ball. Arakuda right here as well. 60 HP, 20 damage for one energy. We have Water Energy, Carvana, Choodle, Hop. Water energy, a Capiscus bucket. Search your deck for up to two water energy cards, reveal them and put them into your hand. So it's like an energy search, but for two water energies particularly. So that's pretty solid. Another Sharpedo, we got Cramorant, Evolution Incense, really great card. BD, water energy, Sonia, 
Volcanian Switch, essential for the decks. Dreadnought. I love Dreadnought. People call him Great Value Blastoise. We got Dan again. I would honestly take this card out and just swap it in for some hops. Uh, unless they include four hops already. Here's one of the hops, draw three cards. So you're guaranteed a plus three versus a plus two and maybe another plus two. So hop is more consistent in my opinion. You might want to add these uh, if they don't have four of them. Uh, we got Aracuda, we got another Dan, we got Great Ball, Water Energy, Wishy Washy, Caspiscus Bucket, Carvana, and another Choodle. So not too amazing of a deck, I wanna say. Just pretty basic, uh, but I mean, it is a starter deck after all, revolving mainly around Blastoise V. It doesn't seem like there's too many like combos or anything in this deck, so it's just very, very bare bones. So you're gonna definitely wanna add cards to this deck from the recently released booster sets or the upcoming booster sets as well. So I wanna say the deck is pretty okay for a beginner. It's not gonna be amazing, but of course it is a 15 Canadian dollar or like 10 US dollar starter deck. So you pay for what you get with this deck. I honestly think you could just build a deck for better if you were to buy all the cards yourself. However, this is just a great way to introduce people to the more competitive side of Pokemon, get their feet wet, so to speak, with this Blastoise deck. And if you're a Blastoise fan, I'm sure you might want to add this to your sealed collection because it is pretty collectible, I want to say. With that said, let me know what you guys think about this deck in the comment section down below, what you think about Blastoise. He was my favorite starter, even more so than Charizard. I nicknamed him Shell Shock in my Pokemon Leaf Green, and uh, we'll have some more Pokemon card giveaways in an upcoming Darkness of Blaze booster box opening. And uh, yeah, a lot more videos on the way. Make sure you guys subscribe so you guys can check out what the Venusaur deck looks like. And uh, yeah, I also stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash sneakertoxie. We stream Pokemon trading card game online and some first person shooters like Apex and Overwatch. I'll catch you guys later or on Twitch. Peace out.